Can then he goes to New Orleans. And by the way, if the receiver catches like the ball, he beats New Orleans on the road. It's a fairy tale before Wait, my eyes. My point is this. Nick or, and now what we're hearing about are serious things. Not just not just um salacious Facebook things, but things serious the things. Locker room Listen, here's the thing. Molly Kier. Molly Kier. Molly Kier. Right? Molly Kier. I don't know how to say her last name, but you guys all know and have come to despise, probably like me, Molly Kier, whatever her last name is, on first take. And we're gonna address my thoughts on that right now. So for the last week, I've actually watched First Take. I know, okay? I'm more of an undisputed type girl, okay? Because I think the show's better. I think the chemistry between Skip and Shannon is up, okay? Don't you do it for me, Shannon's now. Every time I come in here, I'm gonna unbutton oh. my jacket like you. How about them cowboys? How about them cowboys, Joy Taylor? <laughs> Every week I come here for love straight week. And, I have and you know, it's just way more entertaining. Okay, first take, I kind of addressed it in my Why ESPN Sucks Now video, so check that out. Uh, it's, it's just not hitting the way it used to, okay? The chemistry between Max and uh, Stephen A is kind of weird, and I, I just don't like it. It's, it's cringe. You no, know, they have some good takes sometimes when Max isn't making unnecessary boxing and uh baseball analogies that have nothing to do with the subject at hand okay and sometimes Stephen a is hilarious so every once in a while I'll sit there and tune in for a whole show rather than watching the clips here and there that you know i can tolerate but by far one of the biggest reasons if not the biggest reason i stopped watching first take in general is because of molly Q molly Q. like i don't even know if annoying you know, you know how someone is like so annoyed, like she's just an irritant, you know, like annoying is so basic. She's an irritant, like she's like a gnat, like she just, you know, just, you know, like late at night, sometimes you wake up and there's like a bed, you know, and it's like, I know there's going to be some of you out here who are saying, oh girl, you're hating on, I'm not hating on Molly, okay? I'm actually very glad that there's female representation, okay, on these sports shows because hello, there's a lot of us out here who enjoy sports, okay? But I don't think Molly Q, Molly Q is the right choice for a show like First Take. So clearly, initially, Molly was brought on as eye candy, okay? Like, she's a very attractive woman, okay? Um, obviously. But like anybody, but like anybody, there has to be more to offer than just your looks, okay? So when someone is truly beautiful, when someone's truly attractive, their insides, you know, and their personalities just add more to their outward looks, okay? And with Molly, unfortunately, her looks become so superficial because her lack of sports knowledge and just personality in general is so off-putting that she just looks like a Barbie. Like she just comes off like a bimbo rather than a beautiful, intelligent, well-rounded woman that I honestly think she could be. She has great style. And you know, when she isn't making stupid points, like you look at her in a different way, like, oh my God, wow. I see why your wife does. But I would say close to 85 to 90% of the time that is not what we get from her. What we get is her interrupting unnecessarily. After I watched, started watching First Take like six months after Skip left, I was, you know, heavily involved with Undisputed because I liked it right away. But then I immediately started, to, but then I started seeing people just like, shut up Molly, shut up Molly, shut up Molly, shut up Molly. Like Molly's so annoying. And I'm like, wow, like I, I, I erroneously attributed it to just guys not wanting women to, you know, comment on sports and like, you know, just guys being douchebags, like, you know, on the internet. But I sat and I watched, and I immediately understood why. Bulls, 
than no, Joe but, Flacco. But we're saying no mid, when we're saying mid round pick, well, so and what, I know they're not releasing the deals. Don't you think Nick Foles is going to go for more than? Well, but you also have to pay Flacco. He makes a lot of money. Flacco, you have to pay for stuff you're not going to get. No, Foles is going to demand more than Flacco. But the and they still could be drafted. Shut up! That was it. That, yeah, no, I'm about the end of the history. The ACL. That was him just him being Carson Wentz running no, around. I know what's happening. You want Chip Kelly back? Oh hell no! <laughs> hell no! All I'm saying is. Shut up! And among the conspiracies that have been exposed on First Take today, there is one that has been put to bed. Cross and that is this. them. It's... Molly, I'm going to leave you out of this for the moment. Okay. It is... Shut up! Okay, like you get from Molly is unnecessary interruptions. It's like, why can't she say anything? Like, why isn't she allowed to talk? She's a moderator, okay? Like, she's in the middle because she's a moderator. It's a debate setup. And in any debate, the moderators, they're... They have three tests to to present the question, to make sure both sides get an even amount in, and to, again, in the name, moderate, to make sure, you know, one isn't talking over the other, there are too, you know, too many, like, it's not a full-on brawl, bra, bra. it's not a full-on brawl, okay, there's no disrespect, each side gets its point, okay. It's not their job to insert their opinion. I feel like Molly so desperately wants her own show because she just keeps inserting her opinions. And the thing is, I would understand if her opinions held any weight, but most of the time it's just nonsense, okay? And her interrupting and her quips and her little ad libs, it's like, oh my gosh, shut up. It just comes off like a girl who's trying to impress a guy um, you know, on a subject she knows nothing about. Like, me when it comes to, like, video games. Like, if I really liked a guy who plays video games. I'm not a video game who had my, per, myself, okay? I, I play, like, GTA. I play Call of Duty and, like, 2K here and there. But when it comes to, like, the serious game... Oh, and God of War. God of War is fun. But when it comes to, like, the serious games, it's, like... I have no idea what I'm talking about, right? But if I were to do like a quick Google search, look at the plot of the game and just know some characters' names and throw them in there to impress maybe this gamer guy that I'm into, like that's what it sounds like when she's talking about sports. And again, I'm not like the most knowledgeable sports fan. I don't know every stat of every team or anything like that, but I do have basic knowledge. And some of the stuff she says is just, it's just, it's either wildly inaccurate or has nothing to do with the subject. And it's just embarrassing as a woman because it's like, holy shit, can we get better representation? Now, if you contrast that with like Joy Taylor, who is now on Colin Cowherd's show, or even Jenny, I think Jenny Taft is her last name on Undisputed, they do such a great job, you know? But like when they do make a point, it's so heavy and weighted and well thought out and concise and clear that it's like, yes, not only does this woman know what she's talking about, but you know, she has an opinion of her own and you can respect it. With Molly, it's just like she just wants to talk. And she says the most like irrelevant shit. Like she made this one comment about her body being chubby or something. And it's just like. That in every uh, slab of stone, mm. there's a great sculpture waiting to be discovered. The Celtics That's are that slab. That's my body. There's just a layer over it and underneath it's going to yes, be Yes, Molly, sculpture. the whole country feels very sorry for you based on <laughs> Whatever. Uh, based on the fact that the uh, that people don't find you attractive yeah. physically. That's that's a, I know a big big problem for you and, yeah. and you know you probably could I don't know what you can say. Shut up. Fishing for compliments. It's so cringe. I I I could not believe she'd actually say something like that. In life, you realize how much you care about someone, what their presence means to you, their value in your life. I feel like more when they're not there. Either miss them because you know their presence brings value to their life or appreciate them being gone and realizing, man, that person is draining, okay? And that's essentially what happened this week with me watching First Take. Well, Kane was the moderator. There's just this different level to the show. I literally sat and watched full, like two full, three full episodes this week. Like I was hooked. Because not only does Will Kane not interject unnecessarily, but he presents questions in an engaging way. He kind of melds the conversation together and he doesn't make it all about himself. And then like if he has an opinion about it at the end, he'll throw it in. And this isn't because Will Kane is a man. It's just because Will Kane is just a better host. So this isn't a sexist thing. Because like I said, Jenny tapped on undisputed.
Undisputed is awesome. Uh, Joy Taylor, she was pretty good when she did it, but she was a little bit biased towards Skip, but you know, the tandem she has with Colin now is kind of like more her own thing. I don't want to come at Molly's character because I don't know her personally, but what she presents is just kind of like this stereotypical bimbo, okay, who's just there as eye candy. I feel like she should just kind of take the criticism, if she even bothers to look at it. Just be a moderator, and if you need want your own show, get your own show. But based on the stuff she says, based on how she talks, how she carries herself, she just doesn't really strike me as someone who has a lot of sports knowledge. I I don't know if she's on ESPN because of Jalen or Jalen because of her, or if they met that way, but Molly's got to go, guys. Like, Molly has got to go, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought about this. Let's have a discussion. Do you like Molly? She's cute, right? But what more is there to her? I, I don't know, you know? Uh, are you with me that she should go? I think she should go because she ruins first take for everyone because literally half the comment section is telling her to shut up. So I hope they take heed of that, find a better replacement. Hopefully it's Will Kane. Um, and yeah, and I will see you next time on Impeccable.